Well, it's the late night. You know, it takes a while to fall asleep when you get in. Say, hard to sleep after something like that. <clears throat> what was the flight home like? Was it Quiet, you know, just, you know, like normal. I mean, get on the flight and get, get home and get some rest. So what do you, what do, you do? Did you sleep or do you, are you looking at tape on your little tablet? Uh, I watched some film for a while and then uh, I didn't sleep on the flight, but just watched some film for a bit and nothing much. When you watch the film again, do you see things like Portuzo's save there at the end and things? Yeah, you see a lot of little things, and little things go a long way in a game, always. Um, it's important you do the little things. That's what um, a lot of times, you know, boils down to winning and losing. We, uh, we saw the, uh, what your social media did with the, uh, the post, uh, your post-game speech. You, I guess uh, Bozak didn't have to do any of the vacuuming this time around. <laughs> <laughs> his, his wife's going to let him sleep today and rest up. Craig, no, no chores, huh? What really stood out to you as, as you started to make that push? I think Robert Thomas said you guys just got in on, on the hunt, on the yeah. board check a lot better. Just board work for me, like in the offensive zone and, you know, in your own zone too. Like our hash mark down game at both zones was good. Um, you know, and that's where we got to play the game. And, um, you know, I just thought that, um, you know, we, we had numbers on the puck. Our D were tight, keeping pucks alive, kept wearing out the back of the net, um, and just staying on it shift after shift, you know. And, uh, you know, and eventually you get a goal and it elevates your game a little bit more and go from there. So that's, that's where we... Uh, I thought did a real good job in the second half of that game. Did you that Portuzo block? I mean, that's a season saver right there, isn't it? Yeah, it can be, yeah, for sure. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> you know, the, those types of things, <laughs> like they make or break you. As, as coaches on the bench, did you get a pulse and a feel when Tarasenko scores that kind of gave the guys some life? Or, or was yeah, it Thomas's sure. first goal? No, I think Tarasenko's goal, that shift itself was a real good shift with Torpo and Shen. And, um, Again, just battling in the zone and, uh, you know, our D tight, keeping pucks alive, and we get a goal. You know, we got two guys at the net front. We shoot a puck. You know, there's a rebound. Vladdy's on it and scores. But that's, you know, they're inside the house. You know, that's where you got to go. You got to be inside, and we got to keep getting there. What was that atmosphere like at, at the start? The crowd was just nuts. It's, it yeah. almost seemed overwhelming at times. Well, it's, it's a good crowd, and they're, they're loud in there. And, uh, we talked before the game, they're going to come out hard. We all know that. They came out hard in game four, and uh, they came out hard again. Like I said, their captain was, uh, he was on it. He was playing. He was skating, attacking. He's hard to handle. Did you feel a difference with the 12-6? Do you feel like it helped you last night? Well, uh, walks added some real good energy for us, whether it's on the bench or on the ice, with his ability and how he plays the game. And just his chatter and everything, you know, um, he's 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 an edgy guy out there, you know. He gets under people's skin and he plays the right way and he plays hard. And I, I think he was an effective guy. And also getting Scandy back, just that big body. Um, I, once he got his feet under him, I thought he played pretty well for us too. How did, how did he make it out of it? Did he make it out of it? Okay? Yeah, he's fine. Were first. you watching his minutes? Because he only played like 12. Uh, not necessarily. I think you just go with what you go with, you know, in game. So, for a smaller guy, do you appreciate Walker there? I mean, he's a guy that willing to go to the net, and I think there were three layers there that that screened Kemper on the shot. Right? Well, the that's yeah. Table. No, exactly. He um, he's a very detailed guy that way in his game. So he does the right things. And, you know, again, he's um, he you know reloading all the time and playing good defense and then offensively you know he's you know this year he scored some big goals for us in key situations and uh, again he's on the ice in a, in a in a key situation and he's doing something right you know so he does things right when you erase a, goal, a lead like that obviously you had to win to extend the series <clears> but when you come back like that in a game does it make the idea of coming back in the series seem more reachable more possible I don't think, yeah, I mean, I think we everybody thinks you always can come back and um, you got to go and perform and do it, and which we did last night and now. So you move on from that game. That one's over with, and we've got to focus on game six. That's, 
and you know you got to do things right again you gotta you know just doing it all over again Could what do you got what do you got to do better for the last well night? the start of the game's got to be better you know we we let them come at us too much our neutral zone play's got to be better um, both ways and that's that's a big key um that you know we gotta we gotta get the puck through the neutral zone and then on the other side of it <clears throat> we got to make sure that we're playing good defense in a neutral zone. We can't get lost up ice. We can't get lost with our F1. Because with Vakar, Taze, all their D, in my opinion, not all of them, but most of them, they have the ability to, to um, get that puck and go up ice with it. And we got to make sure that doesn't happen. You said you need, <clears throat> last night you got to do a better job on McKinnon from last night. I mean, what were you doing to him earlier in the series? Did he, uh, that, we get, we let him get too much him. separation last night. Okay. You know, the third goal he scored, it's too much separation. You know, the other, the first goal, like, you know, go, Leds gets a stick on it. You know, it's a good play. I mean, it just goes in like it goes off a stick. But uh, not though the goal so much, he just had too much room. Mm -hmm. Got to be tighter to him. Mm -hmm. Try to get the puck out of his hands and give it to somebody else. And, you know, that we just got to get over top of him better. And just it, get on him, like, whenever you can? Yeah. Just close that space? Get on him. Stay, take time and space away from him. Because once he gets going and, you know, like the third goal, you just you putting Letty in a tough spot. He's a very good player coming at you at 100 miles an hour. So. Crazy, it's to, crazy to think the home team's only won once. What do you got to do different at home long? <clears throat> You know, game three at home, I thought we were really off to a good start. It was obviously we all know what happened there, and we ended up losing the game. But you know, I think that that doesn't you know it doesn't happen. We're we're off to, a, to playing the right way, and I think I would go back to a lot of that game, how we started that game, and how we were dictating how we need to play the game. Um, you know, that's. A lot like the Avalanche started last night, you know. They, you you got to come out and on your toes and get after the team and, and get going. The narrow thought was it was going to be hard to keep McKinnon quiet for a long series. Do you guys kind of feel the same way about Tarasenko and how have you seen him kind of chip away? I think you said game three was really good. Yeah. Now he well, he started getting some good looks. Um, and he's, you know, he got more last night. So he's just got to continue to get those looks. And I was pleased to see that line perform. The way they did last night, we need them to keep doing that. What was Robbie Thomas able to find last night that maybe wasn't there earlier in the series for him? It was just the well, his goal, he went to the hard area. His second goal, he's around the net. You know, that's one thing. He's in the paint and he's around the net and driving through on the Bucci's goal. He's driving middle ice, and we talked about that. And then the other thing is, um, he's skating with the puck more, in my opinion. And that's something we all need to do. We can do a little bit better job as everybody's got to, you know, you get that puck touch, you got to move your feet and get going. Coach, this is a lighthearted question. We're asking kids today, if you were the Blues coach, what would be your final words before to the team before they took the ice? So what, what would your final words be? To, to the kids? No, to, to your team. What, what are you going to say to your team? Tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little early for that. I got to think about it. <laughs> Probably nothing out of the ordinary that I say. You know, every game. You know, like I don't. I don't come up with some, you know, special slogans and things like that. That's on me. And uh, so I, you know, I talk about the game. I talk about what we need to do good right here, right away. You know, get off to a good start. Things like that. That's what I focus on. So. When did you move Torpchenko? Uh, up? Was it in the? Uh, second period, I started uh, using him. I had him out there with Shannon Tarasenko on that goal, but I, I started using him in different areas. Uh, yeah. You have to bleep it out for the kids too, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> probably. There'd probably be some foul language in there for sure. What do you think the atmosphere is going to be like tomorrow? Uh, it's great. Oh, the, the atmosphere in this building, our building, is always great. You know, the fans love it, and they're, they're great fans, and um, there's going to be a lot of excitement, so it'll be... We got to be under control, but at the same time, skating, getting after it. That's, you know, you got it's a fine line, but you know, you got to make sure that uh, you're not overdoing it. Craig, what, what did you? What are you liking in Torovchenko that you have this confidence in this this high pressure situation? Detailed guy, you know, he's detailed in, in how to play the game, 
And but you know he's got great size and his his skating. If you see how he drives wide and he puts those D on on uh, edge all the time, you know, takes pucks to the net and things like that. So that's what I like about him. He's he's a North guy and he he's um, hard in the forecheck and big heavy. And you start uh, Mikola in uh, overtime with uh, Pareko. What what went into that? And obviously he had a lot of trust in Mikola. He's playing. He was playing a great game, and um, you know. He's he's hard to play against. We all know that, and I thought that uh, he was tight on people, and it was you know important. I thought that at that time that we get him out there with that McKinnon line, closing plays out and being tough. It's hard on guys. Uh, uh, how 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 did you feel about the power? Play? <clears throat> we didn't we didn't move and move the puck good enough, but we had some chances though. Um, but it it wasn't um, as good as it could be. It'll, it'll be better tomorrow.